Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have some very interesting news. Actually, it's just one news and it's uh, it's quite interesting. It's sounding like some already. And this is the fact that Facebook is now an official corporate sponsor of Blender. And this is uh, this this is coming with some mixed feelings. A lot of people are having questions. Why is this happening? And what is going to be the future of Blender? Owing to the fact that we already know what Facebook is and how they can be. But I don't think it's, it's something that people should be concerned about being a corporate patron just simply means that you're donating to the fund it doesn't mean you have a stake in that and this is a free and it's an open thing it's just there for people to do so I actually got to find this when we looked through the blender page and we saw that a lot of people are already outraged a lot of people are asking questions Zuckerberg and stuff like that and I don't really see the reason why this should be there actually there's just this one that I, I called out to me it says I'm not really comfortable with Facebook joining the development fund and if you take a look at big brother he's saying that everyone's welcome in the community to contribute and make blender stronger and better for everyone i love the fact that ton is looking at it from that point that it's about the development of the tool and not about the company it's two different things i, I think it's just it's just beautiful the way he's looking at it he also made a very tiny disclaimer and said you know in no way will this take us away from the mission as blender would remain free open source and you know to support the better web and serve all of humanity so some time ago we did talk about about Facebook acquiring the Oculus and then saying that users have to have a registered Facebook account before they can use Oculus in coming years and we've also seen them you know monetize almost every single thing that they've ever laid their hands on and I think this is the main reason people are complaining but then the beautiful thing here is Facebook is using Blender for you know for some very cool stuff one of them is the Spark AR studio so we have talked about this one before we actually started a project of doing some videos about how you can work with the Spark AR AR with you know augmented reality for those who would like to create things like Instagram filters and augmented reality filters for their smartphones but we sort of dropped it over some time and maybe we might just simply go back and pick it up so the idea here is they actually use the spark AR alongside with blender and the add-on that they have now is available for both blender 2.83 and above so in case you want to start doing things like that this tool by the way is free so you can just go ahead download it and grab it and start working with it and it's just very beautiful to see that you know blender is cutting across several different terrains and is bringing us those things that would just put a smile on our face and regardless of that we've also seen that there are several corporate members and the fund that facebook is giving is about 120,000 euro per year and you know facebook joining blender is now making the number of corporate persons that have joined blender foundation and blender development fund as 49 so we have one more to go to click 50 hopefully a company just signs up and you know we have 50 corporate people and that's beautiful individuals are climbing all the way up and the contribution monthly is also astonishing scrolling all the way down we also saw that we had a couple of you know attendees as i would actually put them within the year we saw that epic which seems to be like the giant of all of these patrons right now did give blender a huge amount sometime last year and that was over a million plus that was a lot of money a million point two dollars was issued out to blender foundation and then we also saw that the folks at Ubisoft they renewed their development and you know their development funding and that was really really cool we also saw that we got some very cool stuff from unity joining this year and it's just impressive to see that even Microsoft you know Microsoft of all companies are joining and a lot of people are asking when is Apple going to join and I also believe that people will have the same reaction as they have for Facebook but regardless the whole idea is what is this tool being used for than what the company is I think that should be like the big takeaway from this like Microsoft for example is using blender for a lot of things and one of them is to generate synthetic 3d models and also images and if you take a look you would see all of these models here are being generated simply using blender and you can tell from afar that there is literally no studio out there that doesn't have a copy of blender installed on their machine it doesn't matter if it's uh, you know an industry studio or not there is definitely an installation of blender somewhere and that to me is a whole lot of development blender has become a research tool blender has become a modeling tool Blender has also become that go-to tool that almost everybody gets to use when they want to do some very interesting and experimental stuff so I'm very happy about the fact that you know we're getting more and more people appreciating the fact that blender exists and at the same time I'm also happy that you know even studios and big companies that we think are more financial driven are also seeing huge potential 
credentials in tools that are available for free. So if you would like to get more updates about this, I'm going to put a link in the description. So in case you want to catch up with some of these guys, you can also catch up with them. And yeah, we also got the same reaction from Google when Google came in and everyone was, you know, like Google is joining this and, you know, the, no one was happy about that so much. But at the same time, Google is only funding just like these other ones. They are only funding and they don't have any stake. It's not like Blender is issuing out shares or anything. These are voluntary funds. So if you would like to get more updates about any of these things that we've talked about before, you can simply go over to the channel and check these ones out. And I'm also going to put a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and check it. And of course, we did cover a couple of news and we talked about updates that are now available for Blender 2.91. Yes, for those who would also want to take a look at some of the updates that is now available for Blender 2.92, or maybe you want to take a look at the asset browser and also the geometry node, which we covered. You can also go over to the link in the description and take a look at how the asset browser works right now, how the new geometry node works, and also how you can use this for your own creations. So tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. Links to all of this is going to be in the description so you can check it out. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.